Hi there, so in this quick tutorial we're going to have a look at how we create this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So essentially we have our video playing and the text is punching a hole in this circle, or at least that's what it looks like when the video is playing back. So essentially we're going to run through the few simple steps that you need to create this effect. So there's a couple of nice advantages of doing this. Um, we've got a few different layers here that we'll run through as we go through this tutorial. And we can do nice things like blurring out the background so that the video in the center here is in focus. Now we can use type um, to do this or we can use different shapes that we have available to us in Final Cut Pro 10. And we'll run through the version with type in this circle right now, but there's lots of other creative opportunities for using this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's pause this for the moment and we're gonna go ahead and start with a brand new clean timeline. So I'm just gonna delete everything from my timeline here and run through everything from scratch. So the first thing we need is a video to drop down to our timeline. So we're gonna scroll down here. I have a time-lapse video that I'm gonna use here. So I'm gonna drop this down to my timeline. And then the next step that we're gonna go through once we have the video down on the timeline, just do Shift and Z so I'm fitting the whole video to the timeline. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our shape. So we're gonna cut to our generators and type tools on the top left here. So it's the third button in on these three that we see here. And we're going for the generators first of all, and we're looking for the elements section there. Now, if you don't wanna kind of run through all the boxes, you can also do a search up here as well, which is a quick way of uh, finding those different things. So we've got our circle shape here, and we'll drag that down to the timeline and just stretch it out to fill the timeline. Now the circle's not quite as I want it straight away. I wanna remove the red outline from it. And in order to do that, I'm gonna come up to my inspector on the top right, if you don't see your inspector just go to window show in workspace and check the inspector or command and four is the shortcut for that and we're going to come to the options for this generator so the little number two here shows me the options and i can uncheck the outline for that so i have a little bit of a drop shadow um, set up here which is fine for the moment we can blur it a bit more or play with those settings but we're not going to cover that in this tutorial and then the next thing we want to add is a basic type layer so we're going to come to our titles and i'm going to open this up here and we're looking in here for the basic title so we can see the basic title is what we're going to throw down to the timeline so i'm going to drag that down to my timeline and then just stretch this out at the moment, um, the title is set to white, so we're not really gonna see it unless we hover over this on the timeline. So we're gonna come up to the, the type options um, up here at the top right and click on the options for that type and we'll change the text here while we're in here. And then we're gonna come down to the face options and change this to black just so we can see the type that we're working with here. So I'm gonna click on this white square and I've got a black option here, or you can throw all your RGB sliders to the left and that will create black, so all the zeros. We'll close that. And I'm now gonna make this type a little bit bigger. We're gonna go for Helvetica bold and we'll throw it up. So it's almost kind of filling that, that circle up. Now, if I click on it, I can pull it into the middle here and get it to line up with the center of that circle. Actually gonna make it a little bit bigger here. So that's the, the text element of this. And then what we need to do is actually duplicate the video in the background, okay? So I'm gonna hold down the Alt key on the keyboard. So hold down Alt and keep it held down and then drag up and eventually you'll see this little plus symbol pop up. And you can see we can drag it up below the text, but above the circle. So now I'm gonna to go to my title and on this option, we're gonna use one of the blend modes here, which is gonna take the transparency from this layer and add it to the layer below. And in our inspector on the top right here, with the text layer selected, you can see that we're looking for these compositing and blend modes up at the top here. So once we have those selected, we can go in here and we're selecting stencil alpha, and that's gonna add a stencil um, to this layer. Now at the moment, what that does is it stencils everything behind those different layers. So what we need to do is group this into a compound clip. So I'm gonna hold down shift with my type still selected and select the layer below. And now I can go to file, new and compound clip. And that's gonna turn that into a compound clip. And we'll just type in Maui here. And you can see now, that combines that compositing mode and the text into its own compound clip and the transparency of that compound clip together then allows us to see what's in the background. So now if we play this through, we have the type 
showing the, the video in the background. And that's where we can go ahead, select our background layer. So for instance, we could come to our effects and play around with this now. So a couple of different options we have would be to add a, a blur effect, which would blur out the background, but keep the, the middle um, in focus. So the everything inside the text in focus, or we could do something where if I delete the, the Gaussian blur, so I can delete my effects by just highlighting them up here and pressing backspace. We could go into a color effect and add a color tint. So a colorize, for example, and that would allow us to colorize the background with these remapping options. So we can remap the black to, let's go for a nice pink, and then we can remap the white to say yellow. And so we get the video in its normal color in the middle, and then this kind of highlighted option on the outside. So I can change the intensity of that so I can have it a little bit of a lighter tint or I can make it stronger um, depending on what you're looking for. If you want to tint the text in the middle, then with this compound clip to edit that, we can now double click into that. And you can see here, we still have the title and the original video um, that's being masked by that title in the background there. So we could, for instance, go in and add another colorize effect to there. And if we select that and then remap to some different colors, so we'll remap this to a green and we'll remap the white to a blue. And then to get back to our main timeline, we've got a little back arrow here in the middle of our screen. So we can press that or we can go back into our to our library um, and double click on the main project that we've been working on. I'm just going to use the back arrow here. And you can see now we get this green Maui in the middle and then the, the video colorized as well. So we can create these nice effects. Now, anything that has transparency on it, such as type, such as shapes or other elements that you've created with transparency in Final Cut Pro 10, um, you can apply this effect to. So it's a, a nice way of working. So that's the end of this quick tutorial. Um, I hope that's been useful for you. And uh, it's definitely something that I use quite a lot in my different edits. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.